Okay, what's up everybody? Today's video, yes, we will be turning milk into plastic, which sounds like a trip already. Before we get into that, I wanna tell you guys a quick story of what happened to me this morning, maybe about an hour ago. So two days ago, I get tagged in this Facebook post from my brother. It said it was a Blink-182 autographed guitar. So I'm like, this is insane. I'm like the world's biggest Blink-182 fan. I was like, I need this. Of course I need this thing. So I bid on it and I win it for like 160 bucks. Now there was a catch. One of the signatures was actually smudged. This right here is the guitar. So let me show you guys some special stuff about this guitar. This is Tom Blink. This is Mark's signature right here. And this is Travis's, that's smudge. All these signatures are from the same kind of era, from 1999 to 2002. This is when all three of those guys use those signatures. I've studied like Blink-182 signatures to ensure that what I have is authentic. This is not authentic. This is a forged Blink-182 signature guitar. I'm just gonna show you a really small trick about authenticating signatures. There's a lot more that I did to this guitar to figure it out, but here's a very, very small one. If you look at the signature, this one for example, and you notice that it looks like it's written like sh with a shaky hand, that's because it was. Now if this was real, the person who originally signed it would be so slick, it's like second nature to sign something. They wouldn't have wobbly things because it's just quick. This looks like it was written on a moving train. Secondly, this, this autograph isn't actually complete. Third, if a signature is thick from point to point, that means that they took their time and there was no sort of like brush off. And when people sign, they sign really quick and they kind of like fade out. If it's like thick throughout the whole thing, it's probably because they took their time to match the autograph. For example, this one right here. Okay, it's thick pretty much throughout the whole thing. I reached out to the guy, luckily he's really cool, he's like, yeah man, I'll give you your money back, no problem. Oh my god, in the autograph world, there is so much forgery, it's insane. Anyways, let's get into it. Today we're gonna, <laughs> what a segue. Let's get into it. Today I wanna show you guys how to turn milk into plastic. Let's do it. Okay, welcome to my kitchen. Yeah, this is a super weird angle, I know. Disclaimer, okay, if you're somebody that's like, ooh, I can save money and build my daughter a dollhouse out of milk. It's not like that, like this isn't like, this obviously isn't legit plastic, and I don't know how strong it is, so you need to get some milk. The less percent, the better. So fat-free is good. You can even do 1%. And you need some white vinegar. Literally, it's all you need. If you want to use some cookie cutters, you can, but that's totally optional. First things first, we need to pour a cup of milk into this pan pot. Oh, f I messed it up. I was so close. Got to pour a cup of milk into this pot. Let's do it. Freaking nailed it. Pour out one cup. And fat-free is better. Don't ask me why, because I literally have no idea why. Go ahead and pour this milk into this pot. And we're gonna put four teaspoons of vinegar. We're gonna take our vinegar. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's already starting to curdle, but you just wanna stir in that vinegar. Put it on high heat. We are gonna leave this on high heat for literally maybe only two minutes, and you're already gonna to start to see it kind of form a curd. That's what we want. Okay, so this should be enough time. As you can see, it's like totally separated now. Get the curd out. There it is. We're gonna take the curd, and we're gonna put it on this paper towel. The reason why we're gonna put it on this paper towel is we wanna dry it out from any of the leftover uh, vinegar. You turn that off, because that's gonna smell like dick in a second. Gonna dry this curd. So now we got this curd right here. This right here, you have about maybe a minute, two minutes to form something. Starting to dry. Let's just make a flat disc. I just wanna to prove to you guys that this will turn to plastic. We're now gonna set our cloud aside and let it dry for a day to two days. This is the only part of the craft that kinda of sucks is the waiting period. I will see you guys tomorrow. And hopefully this thing is turned to plastic. Cause right now it is rubbery as hell. This actually looks like a donkey. Like there's an ear that, anyways. <laughs> We've made a donkey cloud. And so I'm gonna leave this here to dry on this plate for an entire day. So it's been a full day guys. The like milk donkey, <laughs> which by the way, milk donkey sounds like something incredibly sexual or gross, but the milk donkey, which is what we created yesterday, has finished. Now, I will say this. If you guys want this to be super hard plastic, leave it for longer than two days. So here it is. It's definitely not floppy anymore. You can see like it is a little flexible. This thing is gonna solidify so it is solid plastic that it will not be flexible at all. Again, this is just after one day of leaving it. But while this is still soft, 
You can actually put food coloring in and make different colors. So this is great for like Christmas ornaments. If you guys want to make your own little figurines, it's kind of fun like that. So this one's a little donkey. I want to say a huge thank you guys because it is my five year anniversary with The Danocracy. It sounds so cliche and it's because of you guys that we get to do what we do. And there are creators out there that start to think that, oh, they created this all themselves. And YouTube is not a thing where you're self-made. Yeah, you're self-driven and you might run your own company, but you're not self-made. If it weren't for you guys, we wouldn't get to do what we get to do. I recognize that. I appreciate you guys for all the time you spend watching my videos or creating art or responding to tweets or Instagram. It all means a lot to me, so thank you. Five years is nuts. Let's do five more, shall we? Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I got some more cool stuff coming out. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.